Good morning and uh, welcome back to the Mei Hon Song Loop. Today's adventure takes us all the way to the town of Mei Hon Song itself. Uh, stopping along the way at Obluang National Park and the absolutely stunning wildflower fields. And then of course I finished the day at a night market in Mei Hon Song town itself. So let's get started. All right, so next stop on the Mei Hong Song Loop. This is a place called Ob Luang National Park. It's on Highway 108 on the way to Mai Sarong. And yeah, it's just a nice little stop uh, to break up the ride. Uh, there is a, probably can't see it, up here, uh, there's a, a walkway across the river. Uh, in, um, in between the two rocks there. And then on the other side of the river, there's about a mile loop walk. Yeah, it's just nice. Get off the bike, stretch your legs. This is incredible. <laughs> so this is Thong Bao Tong Wildflower Fields. And yeah, it's unreal. The colours are spectacular, especially on a beautiful day like today when you've got beautiful blue sky. But yeah, look at this. You're just surrounded by these incredible flower fields. Sunflowers. Apparently this only happens November, December. So I'm so fortunate to be here at this time. But, you know, it's a major tourist attraction. There are a lot of people here. Um, but once, you know, once you get past that, it's, it's just incredible to look at. It's really worth coming up here. If you're here at this time of year when they're flowering, take time off the Mae Hong Fong Loop and come and visit because it's just epic. into this viewpoint here that's just south of 
Mei Hong Son. Uh, yeah, it's pretty stunning, isn't it? Yeah, it's well worth getting off the bike for a couple of minutes and just <laughs> resting the bum. Okay, so we're just coming into Mei Hong Son town itself. Obviously, this is the namesake of the whole loop. Uh, first impressions, it looks lovely, actually. Okay. So, um, Namprik. Namprik. And this one is blah blah. Come, All right, let's get stuck straight into this. Blah blah, fermented fish. I'm gonna say there's chilies in there as well. Perhaps some veggies. I'm just gonna try the fermented sauce by itself first, actually. Yeah, that's got a bit of spice to it. That's got a kick to it. It may just be chilies and fish. It's delicious though. You really get that sour fermented vibe coming through. And the chilies in here have been charred, so you've got a bit of a smokiness to it as well. Okay, so I'm going in with uh, a little baby Thai aubergine. There we go, she's loaded. That's awesome. The freshness of the veggies really takes away from the intenseness of the fermented dipping sauce. You get that freshness and then you get the kick in there as well. So uh, this market has yeah very very cool vibes to it. It's kind of it's got music and it's got bars, it's got live acts going on. Um, it just seems a little bit more relaxed, but still like, really busy. Just the vendors are a bit more relaxed than some of the other markets, night markets that I've been to. Uh, the food is definitely different here. Uh, there's more steamed buns. Um, I mean, you're still getting your, your grilled meats on sticks. It's always going to happen, I think. Uh, but yeah, there's definitely some different stuff going on here as well. Okay, so what we've got here is a sweet treat. What are these called? Do they have a name? Cow Gia Bap Mo. Okay, Cow Gia Bap Mo. Yeah. Cow, so cow rice? Cow, right, yeah. Gia? Gia uh, dessert. Yeah. Dessert, uh, okay. Snack, uh -huh. Yeah, dessert snack. Pak or rice pan. Is the, is the pan that they're cooking it in. Um, yeah, and so they are, it's rice flour batter mixed with um, coconut milk. And then there are tiny little crepes just spread out on top of this little steamer here. And she's so quick at doing it, it's just continuous. We're going around these four. And then, yeah, she puts a little bit of the filling inside uh, once it's steamed. 
Okay, you can see this one. So it's steamed, a little bit of filling inside, wrapped up absolutely perfectly, and then they're done. Fantastic. Here we go again. It's just a continuous, <laughs> continue, it's an endless task for her. Oh, Kabkunka. Kabkunka. Okay, so I've gone for a dish that there's quite a few vendors selling this here, so I'm thinking it may be a bit more of a regional, um, a regional dish up here. Som tam. I think I've got that right. Som tam, which is a papaya salad, and they're making it in this awesome pot here, which is a, she's just having a little trouble with. It seems to be wobbling around. Not what you want with your big pestle and mortar. You need stability. Um, so yeah, so we've got prawns, the dried prawns growing in there. And then these amazing things, these crab. And I think these are dried, fermented. Please feel free to uh, put me right when I get some of this wrong, because I'm not going to get this right at all. Fermented prawns here. Whatever's in the sauce. Lime goes in, loads of lime. Fresh tomatoes go in. The Somtom was absolutely beautiful. The fermented crab has such a unique flavour to it. It's salty, and it's, it's got a huge crab flavour to it, and it just absolutely it's burst in with flavour. Um, the sauce is sour, but it's not sour just with lime. It's, it's I don't know whether it's tamarind in it or something. <laughs> that chilli has got a serious build to it. Um, yeah, it really, it starts off mild, and then I was thinking, no, it's not that spicy. Yeah, okay, it really kicks in. Um, the shrimps are salty. The peanuts have this, like, it just gives this crunch, and then it, the whole salad is really, really fle fresh. But it's fresh, but it's it's intense as well it's fiery it's pungent there's nothing mild about this salad it's it's one of my favorite dishes that i've had so far in thailand another awesome food tour another awesome night market if you've enjoyed this one um, please don't forget to subscribe hit that notification button and i'll see you in the next one